A couple months ago, I received an email. This is pretty much what went down. Whoa. Hello? Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, it's 1045. I'm doing my dance routine. You know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, no, no. But listen, listen. We just got permission to drone the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China? Are you serious? Bro, the Great Wall of China. Are you down? Of course I'm down. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. And just like that, we set off to Beijing, China. Our friends Jordan and Bryn would meet us there, and together we would drone one of the seven wonders of the world. Great Wall of China. Nice, with just enough time to spare. Jordan, how much time do we have left? We have about 140 hours. 140 hours? That's a lot of time. What else do you get up to in the vlogs, bro? Um, I like cats. I'm down for cats. Um, what else do we like? Helicopters. <laughs> We're supposed to do a helicopter ride, but apparently it's too windy. So let's go see what else Beijing has to offer. With our main goal complete and 140 hours of time left, we decided to go out and explore Beijing and see what it has to offer. This is a certificate I got from climbing the Great Wall of China. Okay, I actually just climbed maybe like 20 stairs. I got to build a part of the Great Wall of China. That's amazing. We spent the day walking around, immersing ourselves in the culture and beauty of Beijing. But we quickly realized the city was too big to see by foot. So we hopped on a boat. But even with the boat, we quickly found that we would only be able to see a small fraction of the city in the limited time that we had. So we had to change things up a bit.
made sure to spend some time exploring the urban architecture of downtown Beijing. We then searched the markets for something we heard you can eat in Beijing that you can't find back at home. Live scorpions. There's live scorpions on a stick and we're about to eat this. This is like, this is like, this is weird. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sam Calder in Beijing, China. Mm, very good. So <laughs> fucking <laughs> we spent the night overlooking the city skyline reflecting on the wild adventures we had on this trip. Everything from the people, the landscapes, and the food had been amazing. such a breath of fresh air to experience something new and different. But the trip wasn't over yet. We still had another 24 hours left before our visas would expire and we'd be on our way home. It was our final morning in Beijing and we had been able to experience everything we wanted, except for that heli play over the Great Wall. But with just over 16 hours left, we noticed a slight change in the winds. We ended off the whole trip with a conference where we had the opportunity to share and reflect our many experiences from being a part of the Great Wall Hero campaign. Beijing had left me with a new sense of awe and wonder. It was incredible to experience all that I had and to leave this city with the memories I made along the way. Beijing, I can't thank you enough. Until next time.